Welcome to another one of my videos. You can help support this channel by subscribing and liking and by grabbing some of my free ebooks. Today I'm promoting Shades of Grey, an apocalyptic science fiction series. Read the first two ebooks for free. And I'm also promoting Beauty of the Beast, a retelling of the classic tale of Beauty and the Beast, but there's a lot more action, adventure, and the woman is the one turned into the beast. You can read the first ebook of that series for free by following a link in the upper right hand corner and one in the description to my website. And now to the video. In today's video, I'm going to quickly show you how to get started on playing the Fallout 76 scoreboard. You might have heard people say you got to earn score or the score thing pops out while you're playing normally in Fallout 76. And you might not know that there is actually a game board that goes along with the gameplay. So let me go ahead and get started and show you where this is located. The Fallout 76 scoreboard is actually a little game board that you can play out of the game and you move your piece around this board by earning score while you're in the game. And there are like little assignments, little quests that you can earn these points from. There are daily quests or challenges and weekly challenges and you earn points, less points for the daily and more points for the weekly. Now I'll show you where these daily and weekly challenges are located so that you can go in each day and see what you can do to earn the score. So let's go ahead and check it out. I'm on the PS4, so it might look slightly different if you're on the Xbox or the PC. And before I forget, don't forget to like this video if it was helpful and leave a comment if you have any questions or just really like the video. While you're in the game, you find these challenges by going into your map and in the upper right hand corner, you can see a arrow toggle for challenges and you hit the uh, right arrow button. And here's a little hint tip for you that don't know. The other categories, character, survival, combat, social, and world are actually places that you can earn atoms to spend in the atomic shop. I'm not gonna go into that right now, but just so you know, if you wanna explore those later, go check them out. Now you notice that there is about 15 hours left of this daily challenge for me to go through. Um, another thing you might notice is that the daily challenges are worth 500 to 1000 points. That is because I am in double score for a special weekend event that happens every once in a while. Otherwise, they're normally 250 to 500 points for the daily. Examples of daily challenges that you most likely will see every day is one, completing a daily operation, and two, completing an event. Um, you'll earn points once these are done. A little word thing in the bottom of your screen will pop up and let you know that you accomplished this and that you earned points. And a meter bar will pop up, letting you know how far in the progression you are on the meter bar. And once you fill the meter bar, you will open up a reward. I'll show you later how you can grab the rewards because they're not automatic. You actually have to grab them from the scoreboard. And now let's go ahead and take a look at the weekly. Now the weekly challenges will never have a bonus on them, but they're always worth about a thousand points or more. So they're usually always completing five daily operations within the seven day challenge. Now let me tell you that the challenges start Tuesday, 12 noon Eastern Standard Time and run of course till about the next Tuesday noon Eastern Standard Time. That's for the weekly. Daily of course will start from noon to noon Eastern Standard Time and they actually show you the clock on the daily to kind of help you out too, along with the weekly. And here are a couple helpful hints right off the bat. Now, if you notice, like I said, a daily operation and events are always part of the weekly and the daily. So when you come in to do the daily, always focus on, if you don't have a lot of time to spend, you're not on Fallout every day, Focus on those that will help you in the weekly. So do the event, that way you score the daily and help towards your weekly. Do a daily operation, that way you'll score for that daily and work towards your daily operation. 
Level Up is another one um, that usually is always there. And at the very bottom, you'll, you'll notice a repeatable under rank 100 gain. It's once you actually earn those experience points, you'll just score a hundred of the um, score to go towards the scoreboard. And that one never goes away. So even if you complete all the daily and the weekly, that one will always be there so that you can continue to earn score. It's repeatable. And now let me show you where to find the scoreboard while you're in the game. Again, you will start in your map and for the PlayStation 4, you will notice that up in the left hand corner, L1 is the menu. So you're going to drop that menu bar and then you will see the scoreboard. And this is also the other place you will find the challenge button. So you can find it with the challenges in the map or in the drop down menu button. So let's go back and go check out the scoreboard. And before we go in, I will leave a link here in the upper right hand corner if you would actually like to see the entire season eight scoreboard, or if it's later on, another season's popped up and I remember, I'll put the latest season um, up in this link so that you can go check out what the current season is on the game board. For now, here is a quick look at the season eight game board. vault Better Life Underground is the current board. As you can see, it looks like a normal game board with little spaces for you to move around. And I will move up a little bit and actually unlock some of these. Um, but as I said, if you wanna see more detail, I actually go through the entire board and show you space by space what these items are in that link I mentioned earlier. And here is the actual first starter, just so that you can kind of get an idea. It's an icon, the exercise bike, lunch boxes with some of them, but I'm not gonna go into too much of that because I don't wanna make this video too long. But here, I'm able to claim the legendary modules. I'll get three. And my next space will be atomics along with basic repair kits times three. I would also like to point out that that little yellow thing off to the side of each square, every once in a while it pops up that says first, is actually only for the Fallout First subscribers. So you cannot earn those extra little Fallout First rewards unless you are subscribed at the time. And also here is another tip. I'm not gonna grab the basic repair kit with my current character. My current character has too many of them and can't use them all. So I'm gonna wait and actually later on go into the menu before I start a new game, switch characters, and then go into the game board, claim it, go back to the character slot and switch it back to the character I'm currently playing. That way my smaller, less level player will have some nice little repair kits to use later on whenever she gets a chance to play. And here's an example of me earning score for completing the event Scorch Earth. You'll notice in the up lower left-hand corner that I scored challenge complete, completed an event. Now I slowed this way down so that you can actually see it. It pops up faster than this. You might not even notice. So the best thing to do is, of course, just go into your challenge section and see if you've completed any challenges and what challenges daily and weekly that you still have to complete. And now let me recap some of those important tips and hints. Uh, focus on what you can do in the daily challenges that will help you out in the weekly challenges if you're not able to play Fallout 76 every day. Also, in the daily challenges, try to do the ones that are very easy and quick to do, like mod or cook something if you already have the supplies. Go ahead and do them that way. You got that many points and it didn't take you that long. Well, I hope this video was helpful, informational, and somewhat entertaining. Don't forget to like and share if it was. And if you have any questions or I didn't cover something in this guide, go ahead and throw them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Until next time.